Let's move on to the next Huberman claim. Let's talk about blue light blockers, Roca, and that whole partnership. When you're doing an eyeglass, it's supposed to make you sleep. This should be the dead center of Stanford professor Andrew Huberman's expertise. Therefore, this yeah. is like his real recommendation. I looked at the history of his um, claims around uh, blue light from screens. Uh, and he was sort of like not so into blue blockers over the course of time. He was like, yeah, you don't really need them. I don't think they do that much. And then uh, I, I guess in, at the end of October, beginning of November of, of 2024 this year, he releases a blue blocking eyeglass that's, that, that has all these medical claims about it that makes you wind down. While the science of blue block of 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 uh, blue light from screens turns out that that is a little bit old science. Like we were uh, the the review articles that are out now sort of say that screens don't do that much. To your... I didn't know that. The problem is is that when you actually take a a blue light from a screen, like a like a tablet, like so yeah. so an iPad, pretty big screen, change it all to white, and put a lux meter, so so something that measures luminosity. Uh, it is incredibly insufficient to actually change your circadian rhythm. Even right here with a screen at night in a fully black room, the lux, so the actual like dosage of blue light is right. insufficient to do anything clinically that's ever been studied. Interesting. And, 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 and I was, I talked to Michael Gratizar, who's actually a sleep scientist. I'm not a sleep scientist who did a review paper, not only doing his own research, but also looked at all of the papers on, on blue light. Uh, that are, have been done to date. And so he reviewed 10 major papers and they all agreed that you need, instead of 50 to 80 lux, which is what you get on your screen when it's like here in a dark room, okay. you actually need a thousand lux. Wow. To, to so start changing your- orders of magnitude off. Yes, yes. And so that whole theory, like it's, it's true, blue light can change your circadian rhythm. That part is true. But your, the hypothesis that it's your screens fucking you up is right. not true. Probably what's going on is that you're looking at your phone, right? You're actually, you're looking at something, you're reading something, your brain's moving, you're supposed to be winding down because you shouldn't be looking at the computer. Right, it's the con the computer. content rather than the brightness. You know, you're watching crazy action or, or really anything and it's the content that's waking your brain up rather than just the brightness of the screen. Because that exactly. is the commonly held belief that it's the light coming off the screens, which right. is impacting your circadian rhythm, making you more alert when you want to be winding down. Right.